Oh, welcome back. Uh, Prairie Artisan Ale's Sneaking Suspicion. Hey, it's got flamingos on it. Yay. Uh, it's a sour ale with pineapple, mango, and passion fruit. 5%. Uh, canned 8321, so it's a freshie. Um, it's only 15 days old. Pineapple and mango and a tiki head. And a flamingo, like I said, and a bed. <laughs> With a dog on it? Mm, big old ugly looking white dog. <sighs> Was it a bulldog? I don't like dogs. Yeah, me neither. Um, guess I should roll it. I haven't had this yet. Don't worry, Todd. Once again, I got one for you. If it's good. If it's not good, don't worry. I'm not going to waste my uh, time shipping it to you. Once again, we're doing laundry. We're not hobos. I thought it was finished. I'm sorry. Okay, pause. No. It... <laughs> what the fuck is it doing? This isn't very fruited. It's pretty uh, filtered. I believe a four pack was $7.99 of Byron's. Don't quote me. I know it was a lot cheaper than the uh, the pumpkin uh, kerfuffle. It was disappointing. Oh man. Passion fruit and mango. And what's the other fruit? There's passion fruit. Is it no, no, the like there's passion fruit, then there's guava. Passion fruit and guava. I despise. Mango, and eh, it's okay. But I figured, hey, pineapple and mango, maybe it'll push it over the edge, but I'm getting nothing but passion fruit. Christ. Cheers. Mm. Passion fruit. I was wary about preaching this. I gotta stand up close. Ah. That splitters my ass. Well, <laughs> I'm not editing this, so come on, hurry <laughs> up. Oh shit. I forgot to bring this up. I might have to edit it. God damn it. Oh. What do you get? I get nothing but passion fruit. That's all I get, and I think it's disgusting. You can have that back. I'm done. Oh boy. I don't like that at all. Uh, it doesn't go really well with the peanut butter that I just ate either, so. Yeah. It still is passion for not like it. Okay, this says five and a half percent. Um, it's a fruited sour, even though it, I would say a fruited sour would be like a slushy, but whatever. Um. What do you think about it? Yeah or nay? That? Nay. I don't like it. You know, on the can, you got pineapple, mango, passion fruit. Now, if you look at the ingredients of anything, the number one ingredient that has the highest percentage is going to be the number one thing listed. Yes. Yeah. Um, no. However, you go to untapped, and it says passion fruit, mango, and pineapple. And that is the, yeah, that's that's correct. That is the strength of flavor you're getting. Passion fruit. It's it's almost as bad as the pink guava funk. I despise that beer. I just don't like it at all. You better like passion fruit. You better be ready to pucker up and and hopefully you get a little nut tickle of that pineapple. Ugh. Ugh. Just the passion fruit alone is tart and sour. Ugh. What, what are you after? When you see the pineapple, mango, passion fruit, and I'll show you right there in the fucking can. What were you hoping to get more of? Me? Pineapple. So, I'm going to rank this off of the can, because that's what most people are going to see. A lot of people aren't going to be going, oh, that's an that's a interesting sound beer. Let me go to fucking Untapped and get a, you know, 91 people's opinions. Typically when some anybody goes to a liquor store or Walmart, heaven help you, and gets beer, it's a, you know, hey, yeah, sure. It's a less than a two minute decision. It takes that long just to pull up the uh, untapped app, install it, 
and even look for something. Lord Jesus, help you if you got to make an account. I don't like how well it's blended at all. Even if I did like passion fruit, I would still be kind of upset because it's not blended well at all. It's like 80% uh, passion fruit, 15% mango, 5% pineapple. Did they have a sale on this? I was like, God damn, this is getting toward the end of the season. We got three truckloads of passion fruit. Let's just sell it off quick. We're going to lose money. Fuck it. Prayer goodbye at all. Um, I'll read off if anybody did say anything. Once again, numbers, numbers. Hey, look, pictures. Hey, yeah. Holy shit, that's a picture of the can. Thanks for posting that six times. Hey, someone gave it a one. Squeaks one's out here. One second. Squeaks. All right, so we got squeaks. Squeaks. Hey, want to try the water? Give you diarrhea. Uh, the right amount of each. Of, you're an idiot. Paul R. What does the R stand for? How did you have it? Did you have it? Um, you got it in a crowler, so fuck, who God knows. I don't think I did see this at Prairie OKC, though. I have a sneaking suspicion I'm going to go back for more. Well, joy. Godspeed to you. Refreshing. Mm, yum. All right, I'm done. So, what what do you what are you here for? Are you here for what's on the can, or are you here for what's on Untapped? Because Untapped is more accurate. I'm gonna have to say, as well as blended, I want to say seven. Not too excited about it. Uh, this did get overall an eight on my score. Uh, I might even give it a six and a half just because I really don't like it at all. So Todd, if you're into passion fruit, let me know. All right, there we go. We'll be seeing you.